Welcome to the Affinity 6.0 Schematic Design Overview. This new release features many expanded design options, including a new 2D stacking diagram, overlays, and expanded view settings and properties. In the Design menu, you will find the Design Project Tree, which is a hierarchical view of all of the spaces currently placed in the schematic design by Building and Story. Story 1 shows a schematic design for an office building that was created by simply dragging and dropping spaces from the Space Program section. Next, I want to add a new story to my design where I can begin to create a new layout. When I open the Space Program section, you will notice that there are counters next to each program item and group which indicate whether the area or quantity requirement for the space is satisfied. If the counter is zero, that means that the space has been placed in the design view and currently meets the program requirement. If the counter is negative, then the number or size of spaces falls short of the program requirements. If the counter is positive, then there are too many spaces in the design, or the spaces placed in the design view exceed the program area requirement. After I scan through the counters, I can see that the executive suite group shows negative numbers, meaning that it still needs to be placed in the design view. I can also see this by opening the space program at the group or full space program level and turning on the red alerts or warnings. As I scroll down the space program, you'll see that the executive suite is the only group that currently needs to be laid out and does not meet the program requirements. I can supplement my design with items from the Spaces library when I want to use a space, like a hallway, but do not need to include it in the space program. By adding a hallway to my design prior to placing the program items, I will provide myself with a quick way of estimating the circulation area on this floor. Since the square footage of the hallway will automatically adjust when I place spaces on top of it. Notice how the counter numbers adjust once the items are placed in the Story 2 layout view. My executive lounge has an area requirement of 500 square feet, but a unit area of 375, so I need to add 125 square feet to this space to meet the requirement. You could see the difference in the counter and in the pop-up when I hovered over the space. As I place the rest of the spaces onto Story 2, notice how the counters change and the area of the hallway adjusts. For spaces with quantity requirements, like my kitchen which has a quantity requirement of 1, I can easily adjust the area or shape of the space by adding new pull points without the risk of violating the program requirement. Notice that when I drag and drop spaces into the view, and start to align them with another space, Affinity provides me with a green line that helps me to align them more accurately and efficiently. Once the spaces are placed in the design view, I can adjust the width and depth of the hallway to better fit the layout. Next I can add the executive suite, which is a layout that I had created under the new conceptual layouts view, and then add it to the space program. You notice that the spaces are automatically grouped together to preserve the layout. The spaces can also be ungrouped now so I can arrange them more precisely in the design view. Adjustments can be made in the details pane or manually and in some cases I may need to right-click to reorder the spaces to ensure that the restroom actually appears over the office as opposed to under it. Affinity provides several ways in which you can view the items in your design. In addition to the story and site views, there are 3D project outline and new 2D stacking views. The project outline is available via the drop-down list under Entity Hierarchy Table, which is its technical name. 
The project outline is similar to the project design hierarchy in the design menu. It lists the site, building, story, spaces, and components in the design. Unlike the project design hierarchy, this view includes customizable columns and space program items that can be dropped directly into the outline prior to or in place of the schematic design layout. I can open the Story 1 design view and Story 1 project outline at the same time and toggle between the tabs for different presentations of the overall design. The new 2D vertical stacking diagram graphically depicts what you see in the project outline. The stacking diagram is also available as a view in the pull-down list. When it is selected, the stacking diagram view will automatically show the groups or departments that are assigned to each story. Each row represents a story of the schematic design building. The length of each row is based on the area of the story, and groups or departments in each row can be color-coded or split and moved between floors. Affinity 6.0 also provides many additional and enhanced design tools and settings to further customize the actual design layout views. With the updated Affinity window, you can open the same story in multiple tabs and apply different settings to them for presentation purposes. The View Settings icon enables me to edit any number of properties, including the shapes of the space, apply a color code based on specific properties, and I can also place a legend in the design layout by selecting the color legend property. If I want to save these settings, I can do so by clicking the Save View icon in the toolbar. I can also apply these settings to any other story view, like Story 2. I can also develop any number of design scenarios that can be reviewed with team members and clients. Scenario is a property in the Details pane, so to assign a space to a scenario, I select it from the view and change the scenario value. I can also select multiple spaces and make mass changes to the scenarios. The Filter Scenario pull-down allows me to toggle between various scenarios. Now I can add new spaces to Scenario B, since the rest of my spaces have been assigned to Scenario A. Once I have this set up, I can view Scenario A again and Scenario B separately, or I can view both of the scenarios together by selecting All. In order to create a room layout in the schematic design view, I need to open the Library menu and the Objects section so I can begin to drag and drop objects into the view. I can double-click on the room to create a view that is focused on the selected space and automatically opens the object layer so furnishings and other items can be easily placed without accidentally moving the space itself. This is similar to the room layout view in the programming section. In this view, I can change the size and rotation of the spaces and also adjust any other properties using the Details pane to the right. Using the path at the top of the window, I can return to my previous Story 2 view. When I zoom into the space, you'll see the room layout.
Affinity 6.0's schematic design offers benefits to the programmers, designers, and the entire project team. The design menu, views, view settings, and scenarios can be used in combination to create and show many layouts from a variety of perspectives for printing, presentations to clients, and early design reviews. Thank you for taking the time to view the schematic design demo. We recommend that you view the other Affinity 6.0 videos on our website that demonstrate the programming, library, and analysis sections. For more information or to purchase Affinity, please contact us at sales at